Hi, Dave Jones here. Um, going to take you through a song today called a uh, very famous song by a band called The Beatles. I'm sure you've all heard of them. Um, probably one of the best bands of all time. Uh, this song's called Let It Be, and um, it's a relatively simple chord song. Not one probably for beginners because it's got the dreaded F chord in it. Um, now, you could play the F as a bar chord if you're an experienced player and you've followed my lesson on bar chords. Um, but if not, you can get an F by, again, this is up on the website, a small F it's called, or a slightly simplified F. You, you flatten your first finger across think, the uh, B and E strings at the first fret. Your second finger goes on the G string at the second fret, and your third finger goes on the D string at the third fret. The downside of doing this F is you need to miss the top two strings, otherwise it, otherwise it sounds a bit nasty. So you, you just play those four strings. Great song um, if you're if you are thinking or are currently studying towards an RGT grade two. The F chord, the small F chord, comes in at grade two. So this is a good little chord sequence for you to practice because you're probably going to find that what may occur in your exam. You never know. So uh, the other chords in it, fairly basic: C, G, nice uh, major and minor chords, A minor, uh, the F, and that's it. So you've got four chords: C, G, A minor, and F. Now, I've written this out in a chord sequence type rather than uh, doing it uh, proper music because it's a lot easier for me that way if that's the uh, if it's just got chords that are strummed in. Um, apart from one bar in the chorus, uh, well, I've written the, the, the two chords twice just to, to make it, uh, if you're printing the PDF off, just to make it um, a bit more neat. But basically speaking, you've got two chords in each bar, split bars. So because the chords are changing quite quickly, relatively quickly, it's quite a slow song. Um, the strumming pattern doesn't need to be as exciting as the down, down, up, up, downs and all that sort of thing because the chords are making it sound interesting by changing quickly. So you can literally get away with two down strums on each chord. So I'll take you through it then. So we've got a, a repeating, if you are printing the PDF off, the double line with the double dot means repeat. So in the verse section you, you play C, G, A minor, F, C, G, F, C and then you do the same thing again. That's the verse. Chorus doesn't repeat, it's... A minor for a whole bar, um, F, C, split bar, G, C, G, split bar, F, C, split bar. So if you want to print the PDF off um, and um, have a look through it, and, but I'll just take you through the song. So we start off with a C and then G. Two strums, two down strums on each chord will suffice for the song just to keep you in time. So you've got this kind of two, three, four. Again, round the verse, C, G, A minor, F, C, G, F, C. And that's your verse sections for all, all the verses, the same chord sequence. And then your chorus, you've got a full bar of A minor, but like I say, I've notated it for two A minors in the same bar, just to keep it going. But again, two down, down strums basically on each chord that I've written in the PDF. So your chorus is... So, just take you through the chorus one more time, A minor, and then F and C, C and G, F and C. Here we go, so two, three, four. So that's your whole song, um, take exception slowly, and I'm sure you'll um, get it pretty quick. Now, try playing along to the record. Okay, good luck. See you again sometime.